Now, uh, I, I just want to point out a couple of things. Um, your, uh, often you have objects that extend beyond the edges of your stage. So if you want to preview just what's on the stage, turn off pasteboard view. You just make this smaller so you can see it. And you can see it crops at the edge of the stage. But most of the time when you're working, you want to see how it extends off. That's helpful if you're doing animation where you need to kind of plot out entrances and exits. You want a smooth animation that continues even after the visible animation is over. Uh, so here, um, I just want to go over creating a very simple um, image export. We'll look at animation later on. But to do the image export, just go File, Export, Export Image. And here, my, yes, this crashed on me, so it is going to, it's from a recovery project. I'm just going to call it um, Landscape 01. I'm going to save it as a JPEG. Click Save. And here, you can see it's giving me an odd size, 1522 by 1304. And that's because it is taking this part of the tree that extends beyond the stage into account. And this is the minimum image area. I want to change it to full document size, and now it's going to crop it. The other thing I want to change is the quality. 50 is a horrible quality. I'm going to put it on 100 and click OK. Now I have that on the desktop, and if I bring that up, I can see that it is just that part of the screen that uh, I had specified. So that's the part of the screen that's part of the stage. And that's doing a basic export. Now we'll go over the other export options later on, which of course include export movie and export video. And we'll talk about the difference between video and movie as it relates to Flash or Animate. Again, whatever you want to call it, they, uh, they're actually exactly the 